It's pretty incredible to be celebrating my 20th year with type 1 diabetes. I have seen a lot and I've gone through a lot over the last 20 years and connecting with others with type 1 diabetes or connected to this community of type 1 diabetes has been inspiring. It keeps me motivated to constantly want to do and give to so many connected to this disease because I know firsthand how horrible and scary and terrifying it is. And I wanna do everything I can to make sure that all others touched by type one diabetes have the most positive experience. None of us wanted this disease, none of us chose this path, but we all can choose how we move forward and how we can impact ourselves and those around us. In 2019, people are still dying from type one diabetes. They're dying from misdiagnosis, from the mismanagement due to lack of education and resources, and due to the high price of insulin, medicine needed to live with type 1 diabetes. The CDC is currently reporting that 1.25 million Americans currently have type 1 diabetes, with an estimated additional 40,000 newly diagnosed each year moving forward. And in 2050, we expect to see 5 million Americans with type 1 diabetes. Year-round, we are providing resources, materials, events, and programs that are meeting the needs of people with type 1 diabetes, not just in our community, but beyond. Two new programs that our team launched in 2019 are our D-Box program and our dance studio. The D-Box is a free starter kit distributed to anyone newly diagnosed with type 1 diabetes across the country. Locally, endocrinologists, hospitals, school systems are also helping us distribute these boxes to their newly diagnosed patients. Already this year, we've distributed nearly 500 D-boxes across the country. Dancing for Diabetes officially has its own dance studio. This space creates a home base for our organization, our families, our friends, our kids and teens with type 1 diabetes, and everyone connected to the organization. Knowing that a support system is so critical to living well with this disease and knowing that so many across this country and across this world don't have that, that's why we're doing what we're doing. That's why we are growing our programs and building our network and reaching out farther and farther than we ever have before to make sure that everyone and anyone that needs what we can provide can reach us. When Sadie was diagnosed, I really had no idea what type 1 diabetes was. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease. Sadie's body literally makes no insulin anymore. So we have to put that insulin back into her, into her body so that she can live. We have to do that through injections or an insulin pump. Both my daughters have type 1 diabetes. My oldest, Alessandra, was diagnosed when she was 18 months old. She's 21 today. And Isabella was diagnosed when she was three, and she's 12 years old today. The one good thing when Isabella was diagnosed is that quickly, shortly after, we found out about Dancing for Diabetes. That was exactly what we lacked when Alessandra was diagnosed. So immediately we were embraced by a community that we really didn't know existed, that we didn't know was out there. And a school nurse happened to give a Dancing for Diabetes flyer for the first annual kids program, and Isabella joined. Alessandra then started volunteering, and our whole family is very proud to volunteer and participate with many events for Dancing for Diabetes. I've seen the impact that this organization has had on other families too. When Sadie first started dancing, there were seven or eight kids in that class. This year, there are 50. So I've seen the impact that Dancing for Diabetes has had on the children in our type one community and the parents in our type one community. We continue to provide um, outreach, we continue to provide support, we continue to provide encouragement, and that is the reason why I will never stop spreading the word about Dancing for Diabetes, will never stop being part of this type one community. I want other parents to feel the love that I feel when I am in that space, when I am in that community. Finding Dancing for Diabetes was just, it, it was liberating. It was being around people who fully understood 100%, but not only did they understand, but they were walking this path with you, and we support each other. Because of this organization, I have seen my girls really thrive despite the disease. 
I have seen that they don't, they're not embarrassed by the machines on their bodies, that they know that it's okay because they're not alone, that they're doing this together with a lot of friends that have become extended family members. So Dancing for Diabetes has given us that empowerment, that inspiration, and for that, I am forever thankful. That year that Sadie was first part of the, the kids program was when we really realized what being part of a community felt like. Managing diabetes is challenging on its own, but doing it without support, doing it without a community that you feel connected to is almost impossible. Community is a place where one should feel safe, where they should feel encouraged and supported. And the Dancing for Diabetes community very much is that place. We truly could not do what we do in this organization without the support of our entire community. The sponsors, the donors, the volunteers, the people backstage, front of stage, the audience, the dancers that are there on the weekend practicing, the volunteers and the board members that are working year round to make sure that we are giving our community what they need. So thank you for your support of our mission and helping to impact the lives of all those touched by type 1 diabetes.